Hello, acute angels. This is Teacher Anna, and welcome to another Matinic episode. Today, we will talk about probability, specifically about illustrating mutually exclusive events. Are you ready? Well, at the end of this lesson, you are expected to illustrate mutually exclusive events and solves problems involving probability. But what is mutually exclusive events? Mutually exclusive events are two or more events that cannot occur at the same time. Mutually exclusive events always have unique outcomes when compared. In statistics and probability theory, two events are mutually exclusive if they cannot occur at the same time. The simplest example of mutually exclusive events is a coin toss. A toss coin outcome can be either head or tails, but both outcomes cannot occur simultaneously. Examples of mutually exclusive events are the following. Says event A, we have to roll a die and get a 1. Then event B, roll a die and get a 6. Another is event A, we need to get a yellow ball. And for event B, we need to get a blue ball. The two examples are mutually exclusive events because they cannot occur at the same time. One is different from six. Yellow is different from blue. And for not mutually exclusive events, we have the following. Event A, roll a die and get a two. Event B, roll a die and get an even number. They are not mutually exclusive events because they can occur at the same time. Event A is getting 2. Event B an even number which includes 2. Another not mutually exclusive events example is a card is drawn from a deck of standard playing cards. Event A is a heart will be drawn. Event B a king will be drawn. They are not mutually exclusive because they can occur at the same time. We can have a king of hearts, which satisfies the two events. So, how do we get the probability of mutually exclusive events? Despite the specific features of mutually exclusive events, the events still follow some of the fundamental probability rules, and they are the following. Number one, rule of multiplication. The rule of multiplication is used when we want to find the probability of events occurring simultaneously. It is also known as the joint probability of independent events. The rule of multiplication for mutually exclusive events states that probability of A intersection B is equal to zero. Since the events cannot occur simultaneously, their joint probability is always zero. And the second one, we have the rule of addition. The rule of addition allows determining the probability that at least one of the events occurs. It is known as the union of the events. For mutually exclusive events, the rule of addition defines the following. Probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B. The union probability of the events is found by summing only the individual probabilities of each event because there is a zero probability that both events can occur at the same time. Let's have an example. A bag contains two yellow balls, three green balls, five red balls and six black balls. What is the probability of either a yellow ball or a red ball being drawn if only one ball is drawn? Let's say event A is drawing a yellow ball. The probability of A is 2 over 16. We have two yellow balls out of 16 balls. And let's say event B is drawing a red ball. The probability of drawing a red ball is 5 over 16. 
because we have 5 red balls out of 16 balls. And we will use this formula to compute for the probability of either a yellow or a red ball being drawn if only one ball is drawn. Then we will substitute the probability of event A and B here. We have 2 over 16 plus 5 over 16. 2 plus 5 is 7. And then we just copy the denominator 16. Therefore, the probability of A union B is 7 over 16. Easy peasy? But don't you know, mutually exclusive events are commonly confused with independent events. However, they are two distinct concepts. Unlike mutually exclusive events, independent events can occur simultaneously. The independence of the events indicates that the outcome probability of one event does not influence the outcome probability of another event. Well, let's talk about it. What are independent events? Independent events are two or more events where the occurrence of one of the events gives us no information about whether or not the other event will occur. That is, the events have no influence to each other. If two events A and B are independent events, then the probability of both events occurring is the product of the probability of A and the probability of B. In symbols, probability of A and B is equal to probability of A multiplied to probability of B. For example, when a coin is tossed and a die is rolled, what is the probability that a head and a six will turn up? In tossing a bird coin, a head or a tail will turn up and in rolling a die, the possible outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Since the outcomes from the first event are unique when compared to the outcomes of the second, the events are said to be independent events. Thus, for event A, thus a coin and getting ahead, the probability of event A is 1 over 2. For event B, Roll a die and 6 will turn up. Probability of B is 1 over 6. Now computing for the probability that a head and a 6 will turn up, we will use this formula. Probability of A multiplied to probability of B. We have 1 over 2 multiplied to 1 over 6. 1 times 1 is 1. And 2 times 6 is 12. Therefore, the probability of A and B is 1 over 12. And of course, if we have an independent event, we also have dependent events. What are dependent events? Dependent events are two or more events where the occurrence of one of the events has an influence to each other. The events affect one another. If two events A and B are dependent, then the probability of both events occurring is the product of the probability of A and the probability of B after A occurs. In symbols, probability of A and B is equal to probability of A multiplied to the probability of B following A. To better understand it, Let's have an example. A box contains 7 white marbles and 7 red marbles. What is the probability of drawing 1 white marble and 1 red marble in succession without replacement? Let's say event A is drawing a white marble. On the first draw, the probability of getting a white marble is 7 over 14. For event B, drawing a red marble after drawing a white without a replacement. On the second draw, the probability of getting a red marble is 7 over 13. The total of the marbles in this case is just 13. 
because we didn't replace the marble in the first draw. So, to compute for the probability of A and B, we use this formula. Probability of A multiplied to probability of B following A. We have 7 over 14 multiplied to 7 over 13. 7 times 7 is 49. 14 times 13 is 182. And 49 over 182 can be simplified to 7 over 26. Therefore, the probability of A and B is 7 over 26. And that's it. Just remember that mutually exclusive events are events that cannot occur at the same time. Independent events, on the other hand, are events that have no influence to each other. Lastly, dependent events are events that has an influence to each other. Dear Akit Angels, you did great in watching and listening. I hope you are now confident to answer activities related to it. Again, this is Teacher Anna and see you on another matinee episode.